lightweight stars Tony Ferguson and Kevin Lee go head-to-head -head for the interim lightweight strap at UFC 216. In the co-main event featherweight Demetrius Johnson faces yet another challenger hell-bent on ending his reign as the promotion's longest-standing champion when he squares off against Ray Borg. Elsewhere on the main card Derek Lewis has been replaced by Walt Harris as a bad back forced him to withdraw prior to the first fight. Main card Lightweight Benil Dariush, 14-3-0, vs Evan Dunham, 17-6-0 Women's Flyweight Mara Romero Borella, 11-4-0 vs Kalendra Faria, 18-5-1 Heavyweight Fabricio Verdum, 21-7-1, vs Walt Harris, 10-5-0 Flyweight Demetrius Johnson, 26-2-1, vs Ray Borg, 11-2-0 Lightweight Tony Ferguson, 23-3-0, vs Kevin Lee, 16-2-0, preliminary card. Flyweight. Matt Schnell, 10-4-0, vs Marco Beltran, 8-6-0. Both fighters felt each other out during a lackluster opening round before. Matskinel took control in the second round by turning the contest into a boxing encounter. In what was a slow fight all around, that lacked any key moments, Schnell claimed his first UFC victory by a unanimous decision. 30-27, 29-28, 30-27 Women's Strawweight Pearl Gonzalez 0-0-0, vs Poliana Vitelho, 5-1-0. The fight got off to not the greatest opening as both fighters spent the majority of the round locked in a clinch against the cage. Round 2 Gonzalez continued with the clinch game but Vitelho got on top with her defense and elbows. Loud boos rang out during the third round as the crowd became tired of Gonzalez's tactic. Batelho was the dominant fighter and the judges' scorecards reflect that, unanimous decision with all having the same score 30-27. Lightweight Bobby Green, 23-8-0, vs Lando Van Atta, 9-2-0. Bantamweight Tom Dukas Noe, 15-1-0, vs Cody Staman, 15-1-0, early KO of the night. In the second early preliminary fight underdog John Moraga put his name in the hat for the knockout of the night contender as he demolished the previously undefeated Magomed Bibulatov with a monstrous left hook. Heavyweight clash rocked. Number 2 ranked heavyweight Fabricio Verdum will be fighting on the main event card, just not against his originally listed opponent. Derek Lewis withdrew from the fight only moments ago after a back injury left him in severe pain. I can't move, Lewis told MMA Fighting. I'm feeling the same pain in my back that I felt before the Mark Hunt fight. With the injury flaring up after weigh-ins, Lewis has been replaced on the card by Walt Harris and will now watch the action unfold from the comfort of his hotel room. UFC fighter Leonardo Santos has blasted the title fight between Tony Ferguson and Kevin Lee as a joke, outraged he's been snubbed by the fight promotion once again. Santos is 4-0-1 in the UFC but hasn't fought since defeating Adriano Martins in October last year. Before that he was awarded the performance of the night bonus for his first round KO of Lee at UFC 194 in December 2015. 
The 37-year-old said the UFC is robbing him of the chance to fight and he's getting sick of it. The UFC is effing me up, Santos said, per MMA fighting. I want to fight this year, for the love of God, or I'll be broke. I have lots of bills to pay, I have to feed my kids. I have to fight, especially after doing a three-month camp and not getting paid anything, so I want to fight. I'm undefeated in the UFC, I'm going after the top 10. The guy I knocked out is fighting for the interim title, so I'm in a good place to come back. The UFC has to give me a good opportunity and a good fight, that's all I ask. Santos respects Lee, 16-2, but is adamant he shouldn't be fighting for the interim title, and questioned the role favoritism plays in the UFC deciding its ranking system. I'll be honest, he, Lee, has his merits, but it's a joke that he is fighting for the interim belt, Santos said. I have five wins in the UFC, I'm undefeated and they didn't even put me against a top 10 opponent. It's a joke. When they want to put someone up there, in the rankings, they do it and F it. His merits, he won the fights, congratulations, but I deserve to be in the top 10 and fighting a top 10 guy. Fighters Camp Shares Bathroom Secret Benil Dariush fights Evan Dunham in the first bout on the main card at UFC 216 and fellow fighter John Tuck will be in his corner. Tuck will be hoping he can offer Dariush enough wisdom to spur him to victory to repay the lightweight star for sharing a secret with him about how to cut weight before a fight. Before a matchup against Damian Brown in Australia last year Tuck was nearly 10 kilograms above the 70 kilograms limit, but remembering some of Dariush's advice helped him make it to the octagon and it was all down to visiting the toilet. We just take tea, just the week of the fight, Tuck told MMA Junkie Radio. If you're cutting weight, sometimes it's hard to use the restroom because you're all backed up. You're dry, just running dry. Man, I swear, if it was not 6 pounds, it was 7 pounds, 3 kilograms, I lost just by using the restroom. All, due to, T, brother. Ugly reality of weight cutting fans won't be cheering on Nick Lentz in Las Vegas after the American withdrew from his scheduled lightweight bout against ex Bellator champion Will Brooks. The UFC announced he'd be missing due to medical issues and he elaborated by saying his attempt to lose weight combined with problems arising from being a diabetic put him in hospital. I didn't make it to weigh ins this morning because I was in the hospital. Lentz wrote on Twitter. My body is not responding to insulin correctly and during my weight cut last night my feet and hands went numb, I stopped sweating, my heart rate went through the roof and I didn't know what was going on. I decided to go to the hospital and stayed there through the night into morning. I'm not sure just yet as to the diagnosis of what's happening, but I'm having diabetic-like issues. I figured I could push through them and still fight. I was wrong. I'm sorry to everyone involved. I bit off more than I could chew and even though my health problem is not my fault, I should have handled it differently. God bless everyone for their support throughout my camp. I will be back soon.